Previously on Sonic Adventure 2. At this rate, the cannon will take too much time to charge up. If you want to unleash its full potential, you'll need all seven Chaos Emeralds. Hurry, go back to Earth and find them fast. I want that Chaos Emerald. Did you get that? Surrender to the Eggman Empire and make no attempts to resist. Otherwise... Otherwise... Otherwise, your country will cease to exist. Sonic Eggman Empire! Yeah, right. He's transmitting from the space colony R. Doctor, they're heading directly toward us. I saw Eggman go inside the pyramid. And more importantly, I saw that Batgirl go inside with him as well. I don't know what this space colony is all about, but I'll find and destroy that camp and then kick their Imperial butts. All right. And on to stage 11, we're on to Pyramid Cave. Hey, we got another Sonic stage. We haven't had one since, uh, Green Forest. And this stage is weird. Also, remember, your light speed dash is very handy in getting rings. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this stage either, although I do like some of its mechanics, but it's generally kind of annoying. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to hit the hourglasses so that you open the doors. Also, you don't want to fall. Because uh, this bottom area? Very annoying. Hey, uh, I do like these little turnarounds, though, although it doesn't work with rolling. Now, here's something really annoying. Okay, you ready for it? You ready for it? It's the bounce base race bracelet. You hit B while you're in midair and you can bounce higher than you would normally jump. And this level uses it extensively and it's irritating as heck. I I don't even know how that happened. Okay, now here's another concept. You gotta pick up this little thing, pop it on the platform, it floats towards the thing, and then it opens. Hold on. There you go. Back. Back. You want to go on the rail? Because the rail is cool. You don't want to go through all that. Well, I mean, legitimately, you, you don't need to go through that. Also, them ghosts are trying to hug me. Oh! Stuff you, ghost. Stuff you. Wrong way. Backwards grinding. Again, yeah, just take the... Oh, come on. Yeah, just take the rails. Alright. Whoa! Sonic! Sonic, hold up, hold up. Anyway, here's a little thing. Just grab it. Now, the problem with these things is that you can't really run that fast with it. However, you can... First of all, the thing does kill enemies. Second of all, you can hit the hourglasses with it. And the other problem is that you do have to jump up on all these ledges. Because they're just the perfect height to be annoying. Let me just take that. Pro throw! Miss. Okay. Oh, gosh. Anyway, that's that's the longest you'll actually have to do a puzzle. It's just that one, really. Now, here's something. You wanna... You need to press that, and then you got spin dash. Spinning... Spin dashing makes it go really quick. You don't want the ghost. Because the ghost will just slow you down. Um... Now, at the end of this corridor, there is a hole. That hole sends you right back to the beginning of that little chamber, in case you fail, because... Yeah. You want to get past all those as well. Because that's convenient, because then you can just run. Anyway, other than that, though, that's basically the level. Oh, wait, no, we still got a bit more. We still have level left. Take that. Tricky bit. Anyway, there you go. And... There you go. That's why I meant by, like, it's the end of the level. Because this thing is... Yeah, there you go. And there's a bunch of Eggman thingos. And we won. Basically.
Dun 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 da Huh, a D? No problem. I guess I lost all my rings. My rings. Anyway. Another token. Looks like we're heading toward the center of the base. Yes. That egghead sure loves mechanical things, doesn't he? I'll yeah. bet he has one or two spaceships lying around here somewhere. Just, just casually. The door is locked. We need a key to get in there. The door is locked. No problem. We can find it. Right, Knuckles? What? Why do I have to find the key? We're counting on you, buddy. The world's greatest treasure hunter. <laughs> when did that ever happen? Anyway, Death Chamber. N really don't like this stage. In fact, I think this is the worst stage. And it has the worst boss. It has the absolute worst boss. Anyway, come in here and you get the hammer gloves. So yeah, because you're expected to open the steel containers now. Uh, the hourglasses are used to open some of these doors. Yeah, they're still going with this concept. The best part, I believe... Oh, wait, I gotta back up. Also, I'll get some clues on where I'm supposed to go. The bat and the hourglass. Well, that helps. Anyway, this level has a central room. It's not quite like, um, like egg quarters. It has a central room. The problem is, the hints don't exactly tell you which direction it goes through. Also, you can climb through this wall. You can climb through... Oh, crap. You can climb through quite a few... I can't remember. You can climb through quite a few of these walls. Whether they'll help you, I don't know. See, the worst part is that you just can't run through all of it. Actually, I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna... Punch! Punch some ghosts! Like, there's just so many side areas that don't go anywhere! Also, you gotta go, like, right in the center there. It's, it's kinda weird. Small room with green walls. Okay. Okay. That's how you can play. Okay, come on! Okay, there you go. So, if it's got green walls, then I should head this way, because it should... Okay, yeah, this level is ridiculous, and I don't like it at all, and there's bats. Alright, let's see, where are we going? Okay, well, first of all, we're not going to go that way, we're going to go this way. Yeah, this is what... Oh my gosh, biggest dang ghost. Kill it! Wait, what? I managed to get the second key. Okay. By the way, even though the radar does point to the keys in order, you can grab them out of order. The problem is you just now never told uh, what the order where the keys are like there is no hint towards any keys that are out of order so don't like I was actually very happy that I managed to find one but you may be wondering like where am I going where am I I've managed to find myself in the red room yes the first one's in the green room actually you know what the fastest way to get there is probably through the center instead of going through all that darn stuff on the side I'm not a big fan of this level and it's really, really annoying. I don't, I don't like it. And it's got the best boss after it, yeah. Hey, I uh, thought so, green room. Path to the core of the green room. Oh! Oh! Rescue Chow, who was hunted by a scorpion. Well, that really does help. Yeah! 
yeah, yeah, there's so much weird stuff in this level. Also, there are more than one Chowdy. Alright, so... Let's head this way. Alright, just use the hand. I need at least a color. That's not a color! Oh, yeah, freaking big as heck ghost. They're, oh, gosh. I, I just don't like them ghosts. Thankfully, it's all over after this level. And the boss. The boss isn't actually that bad in terms of scaring me freaking ghosts. Because the rest of the game is in space. More or less, we're in space. Almost. Hello, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to not die. There's nowhere in this room. Oh my goodness. Can you tell me a color? The entrance to the red room coming from the pyramid core. Okay, so I'm going to go this way. It's it's ridiculous. I mean, even with all that, it takes so long in navigating everything. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. It's right there. Also, it's really odd, like getting a. Yeah. I found him. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we did it. Not too bad. It actually wasn't that bad. Oh, I got a ding. Huh? Who's there? What the? A ghost? Yes. Yes. This is King Boom Boom. The king of ghosts. He is notorious, to me at least, for being a boss with no answer. There is no way to beat this guy, okay? I mean, regularly. There is no strategy to beat him. Basically, this is what I do. I go around, he notices me half the time, and that was actually a really cool move on my end. Eventually, he breathes fire. And what you're supposed to do is punch that ghost holding the hourglass. Then he goes into the ground, okay? Now, you don't want to waste any time, so you gotta stand on him and dig. This brings him back up, and then you punch him. You can only punch him once. I've only been able to punch him once, because he runs way too fast after that. I, I haven't been able to punch him twice. He takes four hits. So maybe warning, well, he's not gonna be that bad. Imagine if he is more reluctant to breathe fire every other time. I mean, I'm literally just going to stay in front of him until he breathes fire, okay? Okay, so he's breathing fire. Like, it's, it's so annoying. Alright, so now he's on the wall. The worst part is when he is on the wall and it's just like it doesn't count. Like, for example, when that happens. Yeah. Not able to hit him. Why is he chomping? Okay, that is really close. Okay. Breathe fire, you fool! Breathe! Fire. But you can you can definitely outrun him easily. But it's just like he won't he won't let you hit the hourglass until he breathes fire. There you go. Yes! I just got it. Done now. I was clearly punching then. Okay. Okay, so he's on the wall again. Okay. 
Okay, go! Got him. Wait, what? Okay, this is a B and I first. We just hit boom boom twice. You know what's the best part? I actually beat that in like tw half the time. I normally do. I'm surprised. <sighs> that was pretty rough. That was pretty rough, actually. We did it! Let's go, Amy! Yeah. You little thieves! Did you really think <laughs> Come and get some, Eggman! Come and get some, Eggman! Just leave it to me! Eggman's song is also awesome. fine. As well as the Chaos Emerald, I call on you to destroy these pests! Come out, my servant! I'm the Eggman! I am, I am the Eggman! I'm the master plan, I am the Eggman! Oh my gosh. My precious! Anyway, this is the Egg Golem. Uh, there's two sages to this boss fight. However, you'll fight them in different stories. This is, this is, by the way, the most obvious boss fight in the game. And you know what's really weird? Two boss fights in a row. Basically, this is what you do. Do it five times. I don't care about his generic ground pound attacks. By the way, when he does this, you want to stand in a lower section. And then, basically, you just want to follow his back. Other than that, yeah. Seriously! <coughs> Eggman, you have to think this through. Go up. You have to think through your plans. You can't just get like a big golem and be all like, yeah. It's not golem, it's golem. Golems are actual things. I, I, I saw a... I saw like a joke thing where it was like, I was like, Golem, I thought I heard of that before. And then Golem comes up, but... Golem and Golem are different things, and in fact, Golems exist already. In fact, Golem is a Golem, as in the Pokemon. That's how original it is. May I just say Golem is a bit of a stupid Pokemon? He's cool. Like, he's strong, but he's kind of stupid. I mean, he's literally like a big rock. And the name isn't an original thing, I don't know. So yeah, tough boss never fell off, never ever tried to hit me. Yeah, I don't, nice I don't try, care. Rocky. Uh, I, I see what you did there, Sonic. So anyway. I can see that in HD. You can't see it. We didn't take the Japanese clip. Well, so I can jump really high because apparently you can just hit the weak spot straight away. What did you call me? No! And magically, this is the next boss battle. Egg Golem. The Golem. Um, now, Eggman's version is a little bit different. Mainly because, instead of just, like, waiting, also, almost generic ground pound attack. Uh, you can shoot him directly, but the best thing you want to do is try and attack him until you can, uh, hit these exposed sections. Um, until you can lock onto these exposed parts of his body. I should have gone the other way, because then I could hit this part. Of course, just hitting him, hitting him normally will hurt him anyway. Uh, and basically you will kill him if you kill all the exposed bits anyway, because there's enough damage there. And that's one thing I like, a boss where you can actually do something different. Also, just like Sonic, you don't want to fall in the, into the pit below. 
Also, I really do like this, because it's like, dude, I can just hit you, you know. Also, I think I killed him. Rick, jump it! Why is he not falling? Oh, snap! Uh... Yes! Da 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 da! It's kind of easy. I think one reason why I'm confused about this is how come this exists in Eggman's place? Why does he have a space rocket? He's been using a teleporter all this time. You may never know. In space! Here's some really bad mixing. Okay, you ready? You ready for it? So this is the space colony where Eggman is hiding. What? The? Is everyone all right? We should be oh, landing no. soon. No, the hatch doors don't are open. Sweat it, Knuckles. The only thing in the cargo <laughs> bay are those what master emeralds. What do you mean, emeralds. don't sweat it? Right? Land the Knock shuttle and let Knuckles. me out. We're gonna crash this thing if you keep that up. Oh no! Don't touch that lever! <laughs> yeah, that that is dreadful. Anyway, with that train wreck, I'm gonna end the part off here. So I'll see you kids next time. <laughs> <laughs>